Number 100, thumb press under the clavicles. So again, we don't want to just drop our thumbs in near the clavicles. We want to let them know we're coming into their shoulders, palm pressing our way through, warming things up, and then maybe giving a better press, taking those tissues, the pec muscles, away from the clavicle. All right, and then from there, gently stretch the neck by pressing on the shoulders. So we just rotate the head to the side. I'm going to support the skull while I press the shoulder away more than pull the head. Um, stabilize the head and press the shoulder away again. So do that two or three times. Sometimes I move my hand just a little bit in order to get a little different stretch. And then gentle massage. So we want to be careful of anything in front of the sternocleidomastoid. So we've got that big strap muscle from our ear to the front of our sternum. So just be careful of the front of your throat. But anything from this big strap muscle, we can gently use our thumb or a thinner eminence. Some people use their fingers to basically address strips of tissue. I basically run lines because there's the SCM, there are scalenes underneath there, and we don't want to move fast or quick, just gentle thumb circles in um, you know, lines, just like the feet, the energy lines that run off the feet and the hands. You just kind of draw non-artificial lines <laughs> up and maybe to the back of the ear there. So maybe squeeze the side down a little, coming back through the middle, off to the right, supporting the head, pressing the shoulder away. I'm going to replace that hand and press that shoulder away again and again. Okay, and then I'm going to use the whole of my hand to kind of squeeze, and I'll support her head, maybe rotate back just a little to soften the neck so that I can use that thumb, thinner eminence, or my fingers to massage those strips of tissue. Again, the SCM, the scalenes, there are blood vessels that do run in and out of here, so that's why we're not moving very quickly with our thumb circles or very deep, um, unless you really know what you're getting into as a therapist in there. Therapist, you can bring your education in with you. So, in the book it gives ear massages one at a time, but I'm going to do both at one time. So this is just a rolling of the tissue and a gentle stretch. So I'm pulling on the earlobe and then I'm slowly making my way around doing gentle pulls that allow the stretch to occur deep into the sinuses. So you can just massage the ear. You can think about that or you can pull and hold a little bit deeper, a little bit longer, and that should do um, connect a little bit deeper. Ear massage feels good to do them individually or bilaterally. Do them both, experience them both on yourself. Finger press along the trapezius in the neck. So we're going to go between the shoulder blades and we're going to lift up along the neck. And then um, that's basically a lot of the area where we haven't been able to get into. So my fingers go down and they press up towards the ceiling, like up towards the spine, that energy line one, two, or up energy line one rolling over two. Um, it's, so the erector spinae gets a little bit into the rhomboids back there. As it comes in, you have a little bit of the edge of the levator coming up and to the base of the skull. Okay, and then you can work your way back down. And now the edge, the sideline here, the tops of the shoulders. So this area going down into the body can accept a lot more pressure than into the neck. So down on top of the traps and what is called the supraspinatus, um, we can press pretty deeply on a lot of our clients. It needs a lot of good work. Um, but as soon as you meet that bend in the neck, and you turn towards the sides of the neck, you really have to lighten up a ton because those attachment points are very sensitive for most people. And again, there's blood vessels in there and you just wanna be light 
get the circulation moving unless you know what you're doing there. So this can be done one-sided or two. I'm doing both sides at one time. It's kind of nice. I'm just coming, going up and going back down. Okay. Base of the skull and back of the head. All the energy lines in the body run up to the base of the skull. They transition and then they come out. Sinuses, the nose, the eyes, the mouth. But right now, my fingers are just at the base of the skull, giving that head massage, loosening things up, finding the traps. So the base of the head there. And we're going to be massaging our way up and around the sides of the head. So finding our way up the temple paralysis, lobe, muscle, <laughs> um, everything on the side here that leads up towards the temples, all the way up to the front. I'm not ignoring the top of the head, but we will be going back for that center line. So as I come into the back of the head here, I kind of alternate my hands kind of lifting and pulling that center line up towards me to the crown, whereas I transition to my thumbs for the crown of the head and I push more directly into the client's uh, head, torso, and connect down in, spreading the tissue out of the top of the crown of the head and spread it out. And you can just kind of massage there if you like. Um, forehead and chin lines. So there's just lines general that sweep across the forehead, cleaning out this forehead sinuses, across the front of the face with these sinuses, and then out the chin. All coming here, eustachian tube, out. So whether or not these are deeper thumb drags, to circles to the side or sometimes I've seen like little um, almost like facial little thumbs where you kind of alternate and go both sides sometimes you just give a nice press at the eyebrows and maybe tiny little circles on the way out um, whatever you feel called to do whatever the skin um, will allow you to do. If it's real sensitive skin, you're going to want to keep it lighter. Um, but you just keep kind of resetting and drawing your way out. Now at this point with the face, I usually have taken a conscious effort to wipe my hands. We've worked on the entire body, so I usually just wipe my hands really well on the sheets. Um, I've kind of been goofing, so I did not do that distinctly at the beginning of starting this. So, um, if that's a concern, otherwise you could have a towel with you to wash, wash your, or wipe your hands as well. You can just avoid the face. At this point in time, we might need to start avoiding the face. Number 106, scrubbing the scalp with a shampooing motion. Um, at this point, we've done massage for a couple of hours, and we're going to start cleaning the body out. So it's more of a visualization practice that all of the congestion that we have brought out of the body, um, we're starting to bring that dark smoke up out, we're cleaning it, everything's coming back to the organs. This is a stimulating practice that kind of kicks the body on again after being relaxed for so long. Um, starts waking them up, even though they could fall asleep to that for two weeks, they say. Um, Creating a vacuum with the ears. We're going to press into the ears with the palms of our hands and create a suction cup. And this is where we continue our visualization of like that dark smoke, everything that we've just done. We're closing out and sealing our practice and we're bringing it all up and out to the surface so that we can release it and let that all go. 